guys it's rose welcome or welcome back to the channel i'm so happy to have you here with me we are going to be doing a much requested video and that is a speed build of my bedroom i'm actually sitting in my bedroom right now but i decided i don't quite love it and i'm gonna redo the whole thing with you guys today so first i'm gonna be starting by giving myself a blank canvas and taking everything out of my room and now I'm deciding on a wall and floor color that I want and I ended up needing to order it from my Nook app. The wall I'm using is called White Painted Wood Wall and then the flooring is called Light Herringbone Flooring. And at first I was trying to use a bunch of stuff from the antique furniture set. I had an idea to put a stall behind my bed so I kind of played around with some of the furniture I thought I wanted to use just to get a good idea of layout for the room and eventually I went to go get the custom design portal app for my bed covers and my pillows that I wanted to put in my bedroom. If you look at the bottom of the screen, this creator has a ton of amazing designs. So if you want to know where the custom designs come from that I'm using in this video, I will also link it in the description for you guys. So eventually I decided I wanted to use a bunch of the log furniture instead of the antique furniture. So I played around with formatting for a while and then I realized I wanted to go to Harv's Island just because I realized I would be wasting a lot of those little custom customization kits, that's what they're called. So I went to Harv's Island so that I could customize some of the items and just get a good idea of what color swatches I wanted to use before I wasted a ton of customization kits. After playing around with that for a bit, I decided on the white wood version of all of the log furniture. And I think in the wooden furniture, it's neutral or light wood, but they match, so I really liked that. And I decided to take that back to my house in my bedroom and from here I knew which color scheme I wanted to go with I just need to figure out the layout of the room that I wanted After playing around with the layout for a while, I decided I wanted to put my bed in the middle with this dresser behind it to kind of act like a headboard.
And then I also created a very cute little seating area in the left corner of the room. I used log chairs and then a floor lamp to create that area. On the right side of the room, I put some cushions and I wanted it to look like kind of like a dressing area. So I put some furniture, a mirror, and some clothes on the wall, which I think using clothes on the wall makes a very cute decoration. I feel like wall decorations are a little bit limited in Animal Crossing, so I try to switch stuff up whenever I can. To finish the left side of the room, I decided I wanted to have a fireplace and an extra long log sofa. And then I finished up the room with a few more decorations on the wall and I used some custom design paintings as well. Those are from the same creator as the bedding is. 
is, just in case you are wondering. Okay, so now the build is all done. So now I'm gonna give you a little tour. In the middle, we have a log bed and a dresser behind it as a headboard and then a log bench in front of it. To the left, we have an iron cupboard and a mirror and some dresses on the wall to kind of make it look like a little closet over there. On the left side of the room, we have this really beautiful and cozy little seating area and then a nice TV and hanging out area on the very front. I'm gonna give you guys some wide angle shots just in case you want to pause the video and recreate something similar. And that's the end of the speed build. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to give the video a like and leave a comment down below. The engagement does so much to help the channel. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye, you guys.